moment that I arrived on the island, I saw that with its coral reefs and long white sands, gently kissed by sun and surf, Mauritius was made for romance. Even when it comes to romance, Mauritius has one or two surprises. They've even got their own version of Romeo and Juliet, Paul and Virginie. Except in the local version, the fate of the lovers hangs on one question. Will she get a hit off? But more of that later. This is what Mauritius means to most people. Palm fringe beaches and gentle surf lapping against the sand. Heaven. I was staying in the Sugar Beach Resort, a new family hotel built in the style of a colonial sugar plantation with a manor house surrounded by 16 villas containing 10 guest rooms each. I told you Mauritius was romantic. There's at least one wedding every week at my hotel and being a bit of an expert on the subject now, I was delighted to be a guest when Peter and Beverly tied the knot. And before we leave the subject of romance, how about this? Uh, it was our 30th wedding anniversary, and we usually go to um, Spain for our holidays, but um, we thought, well, you know, we'll push the boat out this year and do something a bit extra. If you're in my hotel, this card allows you to eat and stay at other hotels in the group, which sounds fantastic, but there are drawbacks. You can only stay in a hotel for the maximum of two nights, and it depends on whether there are rooms available, which you can only find out once you're here. Also, once you've checked out of a room, there's no guarantee that you'll come back to the same one. So I think I'll just stay here. But I nearly changed my mind when I spent a day at La Tusa Rock, a sister hotel built partly on an island, because it is spectacular. But even if you're not staying, you're still entitled to use their water sports facilities, which are just a boat ride away on the nearby Ilu Surf. This is the east coast of Mauritius, while my hotel was on the west but there are places to stay all around the island. I've been asking around to try and find out what's the best way to get a good view of the island. And this is it. Parasailing costs £16.25 for seven minutes and scuba diving and deep sea fishing are also extra, but all other water sports are free. Wow, that is incredible. Yeah, yeah. What a view. <laughs> At my hotel. This is my room and this is the book I'm reading, The Mauritian Love Story of Paul and Virginie. And I'm just getting to the good bit. It's the part where she's trying to decide whether or not to strip. And that's a real dilemma for a girl, but I have to say it's never been a problem for me. And to prove it, I'm going to strip right now. But that's because I'm taking a shower, so you better not come in here. <laughs> All that exercise earlier had given me an appetite, which is just as well, because the food at my hotel was fantastic. Not just Creole and Indian food either. There were chefs from all over the world cooking dishes from their own countries. My favourite was the Japanese teppanyaki chef, who was quite a performer. 